Hello all. Welcome back to another video tutorial. Today's topic is nanomaterials induced endothelial leakiness or nano EL. In this tutorial, we will explore alternative strategies to enhance drug delivery in cancer, particularly addressing the limitations of the enhanced permeability and retention EPR effect. The EPR effect has been previously highlighted, but it's crucial to devise alternative approaches to overcome its limitations and improve drug delivery to tumor sites. Limitations of the EPR effect. 1. Uncontrollable nature of EPR. EPR effect, while essential, cannot be precisely controlled. Therefore, specific drug design is required to enhance drug circulation time and improve therapeutic agent delivery efficiency. 2. Impact of interstitial matrix. The effectiveness of therapeutic agents depends on interstitial matrix properties. Accumulation of nanoparticles in normal tissues and leakiness of tumor vasculature affect drug circulation time. 3. Barriers within the tumor. Once nanoparticles traverse leaky vasculature, they encounter the interstitial matrix as the next barrier. Size considerations for optimal delivery are challenged by the dynamic nature of growing tumors. 4. Challenges with tumor progression. Specific nanodrug designs may not cater to mature tumors, especially in later stages of progression. Tumor size and characteristics at different stages pose challenges to consistent nanodrug delivery. 5. Variability in vasculature leakiness. Solid tumors don't universally exhibit leaky vasculature. Immature tumors lack leaky blood vessels, resulting in insufficient drug reaching the tumor site. Six, circulation time and nanoparticles design. EPR effect requires drugs to have a long circulation time for effective accumulation. Nanoparticles parameters such as size, shape, surface charge influence circulation time, with considerations for renal clearance and diffusion through interstitial space. Seven, effect of nanoparticles characteristics on circulation time. Filamentous micelles have longer circulation duration than spherical micelles. Cationic nanoparticles exhibit increased targeting to tumor endothelial cells, impacting vascular permeability. 8. EPR effect and vascular barriers. EPR effect is limited in conditions with intact vascular barriers, such as the blood-brain barrier. Dependence on the EPR effect doesn't guarantee sufficient drug accumulation at the tumor site for effective cancer treatment. Therefore, we need an alternative option. Nano-EL or nanomaterials-induced endothelial leakiness effect is an alternative form of endothelial leakiness. Unlike traditional secondary effects such as oxidative stress or cell death, nano-EL is a direct consequence of nanoparticles interacting with endothelial cells. The nano-EL effect is distinguished by its independence from cellular toxicity. Mechanism behind nano-EL. Nano-EL effect relies on disrupting vascular endothelial cadaran a key adhesive protein between endothelial cells. Actin remodeling and cell retraction follow, creating micron-sized gaps between endothelial cells. Several studies since the discovery of nano-EL have focused on the intrinsic abilities of inorganic nanoparticles. The optimal size, surface charge, and density of nanoparticles play pivotal roles in controlling endothelial leakiness. Interactions with vascular endothelial cadaran initiate a targeted response, aimed at widening intercellular gaps. The goal is to achieve a minimum gap enlargement of at least 1 micrometer, strategically disrupting the endothelial barrier for specific therapeutic purposes. Targeting vascular endothelial cadaran with well-designed nanoparticle offers a precise approach for drug delivery. By widening intercellular gaps, nanoparticle facilitate improved permeability, enhancing the delivery of therapeutic agents to target sites. The success of this approach hinges on the design of nanoparticles. Factors such as size, surface charge, and density must be optimized to ensure effective interaction with vascular endothelial cadaran and subsequent modulation of endothelial permeability. Thank you for watching. See you soon with another interesting topics.